Good morning, it's April 29th, and I am seriously a nerd. I found these sunglasses that my sister got me for Christmas. <laughs> and I just think they're so cute. She knows I love like flowery things, but I haven't worn them because my face is so ridiculously narrow and these are very big, but I was like, oh, they match, <laughs> can't tell, but they match my shirt so well. Like, oh, I've got to wear these. So yeah, if I look like a big uh, fly, which I know I do. That's why, but I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put them on because they're cute. Yeah, that's that's my life. So, uh, yeah, fashionista going to like the most boring job on the planet, but hey, you got girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to feel good. But I can't even, like I, <laughs> my job is so, where I work is so stale that, and I, I get people are like sensitive to scents, but when I first went back to work after um, working remotely, I had on like this natural, like I was wearing natural um, deodorant, but it was, it was lavender, but it was, you know, it didn't have all that stuff in it. So it was, so it did smell like pure lavender and oh yes, I got spoken to, like cannot wear any scents whatsoever, God forbid, so. It's just funny. Yeah, people will wear like ripped jeans and baseball caps. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny. I, I don't mean to harp on the workplace because I'm very grateful to have a job and to have benefits, so. It's not all bad, but it's just little nuances that are funny because I work in a very tiny um, office, which honestly reeks of um, smoke, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain about the scent and nobody in my little office complains about like, no, it, my deodorant didn't bother anybody in my office. It legit was like somebody who was walking behind me coming through the door uh, because somebody in their office who I probably never have any contact with is a doesn't like scents or allergic or I don't know. I don't know how that all works, but I'm like, um, yeah, is it really gonna bother them that much, me walking through the doors? Like, I'm not sitting next to them or anything like that. It's just things like that. I get people are sensitive to scents and I fully complied. Like, I, of course, I'm not gonna wear it, but sometimes it's just, man, it must be hard to like go to the grocery store or, do anything like go to any store if scents bother you that much I understand like if you're sitting next to somebody, somebody and you're smelling it all day oh yeah I mean that would I could see where that would be a problem but if if it's bothering you that much just like walking through the hallways yeah I feel bad for the poor for people like that I don't, I don't have a sensitive, I'm not sensitive to scents like that, so I'm not judging because I don't know, it's not, um, not something I deal with. But anyway, uh, I just lost track of where I was going there, but yeah, uh, no, no uh, scented deodorant or perfumes or hairsprays or anything like that, so, <sighs> so I'll just wear my cute clothes and call it good. Uh, I've been watching, I, I've, I think since um, the pandemic and everything, like, I don't know, I think a lot of people have started turning on to YouTube, and it's interesting because, in my opinion, uh, watching, I watch a lot of commentary, that's just what I was, it all started by, like, looking things up, it was always, how do you do this, how do you do that, and then I must have somehow hopped on to something, and anyways, I've somehow been drawn into like just commentary and it's, I think it started with um, anti-MLM, so multi-level marketing and then uh, 
because I used, I was into a lot of self-help stuff, so I was probably looking that up, but then I came across like an anti, and I started seeing the other side of things, and that really did pique my interest, because I am one that, I, I want to see all sides of the coin, like it's, um, self-help isn't for everyone, and some people find it toxic, and, and I can see both sides to that, for sure. You have to have a healthy balance. But, so all of that has kind of guided me towards like um, people who talk about family vlogging and the dangers of family vlogging. I created like a couple of little uh, videos about that, like story time videos. I've written some stories about it uh, because I do think it is very dangerous for kids to be put out uh, on the internet like that because you do have a lot of predators and I think a lot of young parents don't. I think a lot of people that grew up in this um, this world we live in, like a lot of these people that are having kids, they grew up on the internet, so that's that's normal to them. So I get it. Like that to them, that's how they grew up. That's their way of communicating. So it's a total different world than how I grew up, where you didn't have internet. Um, but I think my generation kind of sees that and it's like, oh, well, that could be very dangerous because if you do think of the predators online that are watching your kids, you don't really want that. Like you're not gonna, in my, let's put it this way. If I found out there was a child predator or pee or whatever you could say on the internet uh, out there, I'm not gonna take my child where that person lives or where that person hangs out like I'm, going to make it a point to keep my child away from that so what's when you put yourself or your it's one thing to put yourself out there but when you put your child out online um you are definitely you're letting the predators come to you like i know you're not going to them on purpose obviously nobody would do that well maybe some would but no nobody in their right mind would actually go seek them out but if you're putting your kids out there you're giving these people a platform to seek your kids out and that's where it gets dangerous so anyways i'm not here to rant about that but i did start watching some of that commentary but then i see like people making commentary with that intent to like talk about the dangers of that but then they start talking about one another so it's just interesting to me so it's like this reality tv kind of where commentary person talks about another commentary person then they end up you know, they have fans that are watching them who start fighting with these fans who are watching them. It's just kind of amazes me. Like, wow. Um, I'm not going to come on here or name names on any other person that's creating videos because I don't know them. If I don't like what they're saying, I, I don't know. I'm not going to call them out to everyone else. I'll let, I'll let anyone who stumbles across their channel decide if they like them or not. And if they don't like them, don't watch them. And if they watch them, whatever. But I'm certainly not going to judge who watches what. You know, I'll watch, I watch a couple different commentary channels. And one's like, well, if you watch this person, you know, this person's done this, 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 and this. And then same thing on this person. Well, if you watch this person, well, you know what? I'm going to watch both of you because I'm entertained by both of you. But I'm not necessarily entertained by you guys bantering back and forth. Like, it is what it is. I think it's probably um, maybe one person felt attacked by the other. So if somebody puts something out personally about one, the other probably feels they need to retaliate. But let's, I don't know. It, to me, it's not about, um, you kind of lose the message, I guess. So... Uh, in my opinion, I'd, I'd rather just stay in my own lane and not uh, veer off into anybody else's, like, because people can choose to watch them or not. It's not up to me to tell them why they should not watch somebody else, in my opinion. So let people, you know, it's like you be you, boo, and uh, you watch who you want. You might find this, you might not like this person, but you find them interesting, or you like parts of what they say, so you support them. You don't have to agree with everything. Uh, so I get it. Now I'm late for work, which it's Friday, whatever. But I'm going to run in, and yeah, that's my talk for today, and I will... 
probably check in with you when I leave work. So happy Friday, guys. Okay, I'm just leaving work, but I wanted to read my, I write a little sticky with my affirmations and I haven't said these affirmations at all today, but today from The Course of Miracles is, there is no love but God's and the world I see holds nothing I want. And I'm gonna kind of go with the world I see holds nothing I want because, don't get me wrong, I am not a hardcore Course in Miracles or anything like that. I take little bits and pieces from everything. I don't, um, I don't think there's any one right way. What I can tell you is through A Course in Miracles, I, um, a lot of it resonates for me personally. So I don't, I'm not suggesting everyone go read A Course in Miracles and I'm not trying to be like, I don't know. I, I don't like to be one of those preachy people. But what I will say is that a lot, for some reason, that just resonates with me. Like when I started reading it, which it reads like a Bible, so it's not like it's easy reading, but for some reason it just resonated with me. And I've read it a few times and I get something out of it every time and I then I forget about it. And it's some of it's so far-fetched that it is kind of hard to take your mind to where where it wants to uh, where it wants to guide you so when it says the world that I see or the world oh God, this is so bad when it says the world I see holds nothing I want uh, what it's saying is it's kind of saying that this just this this isn't our reality this is not our reality and I don't know if anybody else has ever wondered about dreams and like you know you're in I don't know if anyone has had lucid dreams I've had lucid dreams where I know that I'm in a dream but they mine tend to be like nightmares so I've been in these dreams where I know it's a dream and I know I don't want to be in that dream because it's very scary and so I'll like scream to wake myself up it's very weird so and then I like I've talked to other people in my dreams and it's like they're not real I, I can't even explain it it's so weird but if anyone else has had had it they'd know what I'm talking about anyone who has not had a lucid dream I'm sure it sounds absolutely insane but um, it just makes you wonder when it seems so real like what could life be uh, like a bunch of dreams? Is there like a parallel reality? Like, do you ever think that? I don't know. A Course in Miracles, a lot of it is what you, you get what you, you basically create your own world. So your world is created by your beliefs. And I talked about yesterday, I think, about how important, like beliefs come from what your history, you know, things that have happened to you, what you were taught. Everybody has a different set of beliefs because we've all led different lives. So if beliefs are really formulating our worlds, it's, it's all in perception. It's all in the way we see things. And it's, I do think about that a lot. You can choose to look at, now this is gonna, this is kind of funny because a lot of the commentary people out there <laughs> who make fun of like toxic positivity which I do get a, a chuckle out of but like Tony Robbins will always say if you look at life as look at life as happening for you not to you and so then like there's people some some of uh, the commentary folks out there will be like well, what about um, life happening five you I think or three you or whatever um so I do find that funny I don't know that was a tangent but <laughs> I don't know like if you do perceive life is happening for you or you're creating your life I think I think there's a lot that could be said for that we can choose to see ourselves as victims or we can choose to change our minds about what is 
control that, I guess. So, you cannot control what other people do, but you can control your response to that. And I'm saying that, but believe me, I don't follow it. I have to be in the right frame of mind, like a good mood, to be following that. But it does make sense when I'm in a good mood. <laughs> makes a lot of sense when I'm in a good mood, but when I'm not in a good mood, it's annoying. So, but anyway, um, A Course in Miracles kind of basically says this is not reality. Like, this is not, I can't really go into the whole background of it, but it's like, we're kind of living in a world like our bodies are um, housing our egos and we all have these separate egos, right? Egos being formulated by our beliefs and A Course in Miracles would say, no, we're actually all connected. And then the egos, like we were all connected, we're all one. And then the egos did their own thing and they housed, them, housed themselves in like different bodies I guess you'd say, and um, that egos take take over in the body, and that the body isn't real. Like when we die, we will hopefully go back to whatever source we came from, and the body just goes away because the body's just a like a shabby shelter for the ego, and then. I don't know. It's very complicated and I can't really give a lecture about that, but I wanted to talk about ego because I do think commentary, when I was thinking, talking earlier about like commentary channels and you hear often that people will start off on YouTube or whatever with very good intentions and no intention for, um, no intention for conflict or not, I don't know. People start off down to earth, like to connect with other people, to feel that connection. But the more that people follow them and connect with them and boost their egos, it's kind of like, I feel like you could use your channel. The ego can certainly take control when you are trying to build a channel or be an influencer an influencer to me is kind of like the ego is trying to take over and in my mind like when I've thought about coming on here it's not I don't like being center of attention at all but I feel like I have a lot that I want to express and I'd like to think that somebody that what I say resonates with somebody that it helps somebody and but I don't know, you hear of all these influencers that gain, you know, they get um, very popular, they get a lot of followers, and then they start really acting, they, they act, um, they get, become too big for their purchase per se. They, their ego takes over. I think that this is definitely something that could be very bad for somebody who allows the ego to take over. And I, we're human, so that is going to happen. I mean, that's being human. You're going to let the ego take over at times. Uh, I'm going to let the ego take over at times. We all do. I mean, it makes sense, but I think for some people it's actually like, I don't know, has it made them like not so nice of a person or I don't know. Do, do you think that for some people, it um, it kind of puts a damper on who the person is. Do they become a little too full of themselves? Does the purpose change, I think is what I'm trying to say. So maybe the initial purpose of going online was just to get, just to, for something fun. Like I like creating videos, I like editing videos. I just think it's fun. Uh, I don't even expect anybody to really watch it. And if anybody does, I just hope it's somebody wants, who gets something out of it. I'm not interested in really going back and forth with talking and all of that, like comments. I don't want like 
to get into arguments with people that's not what I'm about but then you see people the more popular you get the more other egos are are uh, conversing with you and the more egos you get together again you start clashing and once you start clashing with somebody and you get snarky or mean um, then somebody else is gonna be like hey you were just snarky and then you're gonna get snarky with that it just it feels like it can turn into a very um, triggering web of of conflict and I don't know to me it's like I wouldn't want that I just want I just want to put just for me honest to God it's like it helps me to say what I'm feeling sometimes like seriously when I'm on here I'm just processing I'm just saying out loud where my brain would be going anyways and if I do this this is gonna sound weird but when I do this I sleep better because everything that I would be thinking of when I go to bed and can't sleep now is like out there. I've, I've put it out there. And so, yeah, it is selfish in some ways, but I just hope that it, I don't know. I hope that it helps somebody somewhere, even if it helped one person, it's like, Hey, it's worth it. Uh, so I, I'm going to go before I ramble way too long and, uh, happy Friday TGIF everyone. And I hope you have a great weekend and I'll hop on next time I have something to say.